Everybody wants to know how much boost their turbo can take. Most common question when remapping. For example, I have a teeny tiny little turbo in my Volkswagen Polo which was one bar of boost at peak in the map. Uh, I run it at about 1.3 and I've heard of some people running one and a half bars of boost through this thing. A little secret when you're doing your map is if you look at the stock torque limiter maps you'll be able to find there's a point where it peaks up. Um, and that range there, that RPM range, is probably where the sweet spot of the manufacturer's turbo is. How do you find out how much boost your turbo can take? Well, you need to look on the manufacturer's website and download what... I don't know the right bloody name for it, but it's like a manufacturer's boost efficiency map. And it'll look something like this, which is like a peanut or an orifice or something like that. And if you can imagine, there's a sweet spot in every turbo where it's most efficient, so you get maximum boost without blowing temperatures through the roof. Um, and without having lots and lots of lag. Uh, and you'll find there's a sweet spot where the turbo's most efficient. Different for every single turbo, but if you can find out when it's at its most efficient, keep it within there, and anything outside of that efficiency range, you will still be able to get more boost, but it might be at the cost of either turbo wear and tear or heat, which kills power. Bearing in mind that the whole time you're remapping, you're compromising. So manufacturer's maps are nice and safe and reliable so that the engine can last for 200,000 miles. Every time you squeeze out more boost or you try and squeeze out more power, you are tightening the tolerances between how long will my turbo last? Can I use lower quality oil? Do I need to be careful about engine temperatures and you know whether or not it's dusty outside? When you remap, you get more power, but you reduce the clearances and tolerances, so you've got to be more careful. Um, Boost is one of those areas, you might be able to crank up the boost, but you might wear and tear the turbo, so you have to replace it every 30,000 miles. But in the answer to the question, boost, how much is enough? It, it, it's, it's never enough. It really, it really isn't. There's never enough. More. We can have too much. Skip you can't have too much. You can have too much. Too much love will kill you. Too much Too boost. much boost will kill an engine. <laughs>